Hello rail fans, and welcome to another French Fried Trains Minecraft Train Tutorial. Today, we're going to be continuing on with our Amtrak Piedmont train, and we're going to be building this standard coach car. So let's get right into it here. So as usual, the first step is to take out a dark oak stair to be the coupler, and we'll come up behind the locomotive and get it attached up here. Underneath that, we're going to put a dark oak fence gate. Then come up here on the locomotive behind it, delete these fence gates on either side, and put dark oak fences on each side of the coupler. Then we're going to take out a polished black stone block. Put it on the coupler, and we're going to make a 3x3. Three three. Then we're going to go back to our dark oak fence gate. We're going to come underneath this and put three of them coming up the middle to continue that airline. Above that, another 3x3 three three of polished blackstone. Then we're going to take out polished andesite stairs and on the middle of this side, two of them upside down. Same thing over here. And on the very bottom underneath it, a polished andesite slab on each side. This will be the ladder to get up in the car. Then we're going to do our first set of wheels. So right in front of this, down on the rails, we need to get a block of netherite. We're going to put one on each rail with an end rod axle. In front of that, we're going to put four rows of three polished black stone. Then another set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. Take out deep slate polished stairs upside down facing this way here on the sides and upside down facing this way here on the sides. Then on these middle two, a polished deep slate slab on the bottom hip box on each side. Then we're going to come above it with polished black stone and we're going to fill in this middle three on the second and third layer coming down to the end of this wheel. Then we're going to come on the side of the truck here on top and we're going to put a row of polished deep slate slabs going from wheel to wheel. Same thing over here, a row of slabs going from wheel to wheel. Then everywhere there's a wheel, we're going to put a hopper in front of it. Same thing over on this side, so a hopper on the side of these two wheels here. Now we're going to come down on the end of this, and we're going to put two blocks of clay here, and two on the other side, leaving the middle open for a door. Then we're going to come up the sides, but delete that one there, and bring it all the way up to the side. Same thing over here, because above these stairs there's going to be a side door bring it up this side as well. Now we're going to come underneath that clay on the side and on the very top of the polished blackstone we're going to put a row of red nether brick slabs coming down the side of the car. And we'll do the same thing over here. So a row of slabs right up there. One on this end here. Then down underneath this corner here we're going to take a dark oak trap door and we're going to close it on the side of the stairs here. We'll do the same thing on this side. And then we're going to spin around to the other side of the stairs. Close the trap door here. And do the same thing over here. Close the trap door right there. Then come on top with a block of clay. Put a clay here and here. And blue concrete on the outsides of that. Then we're going to take our blue concrete on top of this clay and we're going to put a full row of blue concrete on each side. Now after this we're going to use our window spacing to measure the length of the car. So coming off this blue concrete here we're going to put two black stained glass panes blue concrete. Two black stained glass panes blue concrete and we're going to keep doing that alternating a single blue concrete with two black stained glass panes 
until you have a row of windows coming all the way down that has 14 windows in total. Once you have 14 windows, two blue concrete go on the end of it. And here I was just counting to make sure I had the right number of windows. Once we have the full strip of windows in, come down to the end here, and I'm going to put a marker block in so I know where this truck will be. We're going to go on the right hand stained glass section of the first window, put a marker block underneath that. Come around this side where that marker block is, get a netherite on each rail with an end rod axle and delete that marker block. Then coming this way, we're going to put four rows of three polished black stone. Then another set of netherite wheels with an end rod axle. Then we're going to take polished deep slate stairs upside down on each side facing that way here and facing this way over here. Then polished deep slate slabs across the bottom hitbox on the middle two on each side here. Then we'll put a hopper in front of each wheel. Same thing over here. And then we'll run a row of polished deep slate slabs across the top, going from wheel to wheel. Same thing over on this side. Now we have that truck placed where it needs to be. And we're going to come back down to this end. And we're going to start filling in the middle three of the second and third layer with polished blackstone blocks coming all the way down to the other side. We're going to extend it out two past the truck so it lines up with the end of that blue concrete layer there. Take out a dark oak stair for the coupler on this end and get it stacked up to that second block there in the middle. Delete the ones that we use for placement. Underneath it, we're going to put a dark oak fence gate and we're also going to extend it back to the wheels so the airline goes all the way to the wheels. Then we'll put dark oak fences on either side of the coupler here. Then we'll come back down to this side with a red nether brick slab and attach it where these other ones are and bring it down in a line to the other end of the car and do the same thing on the other side. Now we'll take out our block of clay and under this row of windows we're going to put a full row of clay coming all the way down the side of the car till it meets up with the other end here. Come over to the other side here, same thing, on the outside bottom edge a full row of clay coming all the way down. Then we'll come above that pattern and copy our blue concrete pattern across to this side. Everything is symmetrical, so it's the exact same pattern on this side of the car. So just keep alternating two blocks of space with a blue concrete. Once we get down here, we'll go through and fill this all in with black stained glass panes to begin the windows on this side. Then on this end, we'll put two clay on each side, leaving a space for a door, and clay coming across the top middle three. Then we're going to go through both sides of the car, and we're going to copy our blue concrete up another layer, and also the black stained glass panes up another layer. Down on the end, we can cover this doorway. going through and putting all of our stained glass panes in 
for the windows on this top layer. Then, on the next layer up above the windows, we're going to go all the way around the top outside of the entire car with a layer of clay. Now we're going to come underneath the car on the side here, skip two blocks forward from the truck, and we're going to put six polished chiseled deep slate blocks. Then we're going to put a crimson button right here, then a wither skeleton skull, and two skeleton skulls. Then we're going to take out polished black stone slabs underneath that, and coming across the bottom, lined up with this box section we just made, we're going to make slabs filling in this bottom coming out to the side like this then we'll do the other side so we'll come down here extend out our slabs to this side here put in chiseled polished black stone across that above the slabs a crimson button here a wither skeleton skull two skeleton skulls then we're going to come forward we're going to skip three, and we're going to put four polished black stone on this side with crimson buttons on each side. Then same thing, underneath that section, we're going to come across with polished black stone slabs. Well, we'll do that same thing over here. So we're going to bring it across here till the slabs are sticking out. And on this side, we're going to put four chiseled polished black stone, and then a crimson button on each side. Then we're going to come forward with a grindstone. We're going to skip three, and we're going to put a row of six grindstones like that. Come over to the other side. And here I was just checking to make sure I have it lined up right. So down here on this side, skip three blocks forward, and six grindstones. Then, two blocks forward, and another five of polished chisel deep slate with crimson buttons on all of them. Then same thing, we're going to come across the bottom of this section with polished black stone slabs out to the side. And we'll finish it off over on this side here. So extend our slabs out to the side. Chisel polished deep slate blocks above it and crimson buttons on front of all of those. Now we're gonna do the interior, so come down to the end that does not have the side doors. And I actually saw a video of a walkthrough of this train, so this passenger car is about as accurate as I can make it at this three block tiny scale. So we're gonna come down at this end of the car here, and the seats in this are gray. You can use whatever gray stairs you want. I'm gonna use stone brick stairs. Turn around this way, and a stair on each side. Then on this end, there's actually a little table here. Skip a block, stairs the other way, and rods for the table support, cyan carpet for the tabletop. Then, dark prismarine on each side, and we're gonna stack up two glass panes, and then dark prismarine above it. There's these little glass dividers that divide off this table section. Come in front of it, put a stair on each side for seats, and just keep alternating a block of space and then a stair on each side. So this train usually just has coach cars, so we just have seats in here. And keep bringing it down to this other end of the car. And we're gonna stop right he up here before we reach this final section where it's all blue concrete and there's no windows. So right there. One block in front of these stairs, we put a column of netherite on either side. And then we're also going to come over next to these side doors on the left here, and a column of netherite on either side of that as well. So one here, and one here. In this corner, we put an end portal for a toilet, and another column of netherite. Turn around like this and put a warp door in front of it. 
These are going to be the tiniest bathrooms ever. Put a sideways end rod, and then another right above it. We'll build the same thing over here. Like I said, these bathrooms are super tiny, but in order for it to be accurate to the real train at this three block scale, this is about all we can do. Now it's trickier to do, but we need to get a warp trap door above that door and close it to cover that gap. Same thing over here. Then we're gonna take iron trap doors. We'll put them across here for shelving. There's really more doors for what I assume is more bathrooms on each side here. But with our three block gap of space, we wouldn't be able to fit the door, so I'm not putting them in on that side. Then we'll put two netherite above this door frame in the middle. And then we're gonna run sideways end rods across these shelves for the lighting. Then we're gonna take an iron trap door and we're gonna start on each side in the corners here with iron trap doors. We need to make sure that they're below the top block and we're gonna go down both sides of the car with that. We stop at that dark prismarine block and then come up the other side. Then above these shelves we just put in, we're gonna put a sideways end rod and we're gonna go end to end on both sides of the car with that. Then we'll swing around up here, and put one on each side of the top of that porch area. Now, this whole car is lighted with nice modern fluorescent lighting. And we'll come down here and put three on each side where this little table area is too. Then, the floor has this green strip down the middle, so we're gonna put green carpet right down the middle of this car. And bring it all the way down as far as we can. I'm not going to put it in the bathroom section down here because the doors are going to leave gaps and it'll look weird. Now take out a door here, put a door on this side here, a door on the end of the car, a door on this end, and then a door down here in this porch area, and then come all the way down to the other side, and we'll put a door on this end of the car. Then we're gonna come on top with a clay block and put clay across the top middle three and bring that middle three all the way down to the other end of the car. Then on the outside edges of the top here, we're gonna put a full row of smooth stone slabs going end to end on both sides of the car. Then down on this end, we're going to put an iron trap door in the middle in front of the door so there's a walkway here. And you can go ahead and put one coming off this locomotive and delete that fence if you want as well. Then we're going to take out polished black stone wall and we're going to surround the doorway with that. Then up here, we're going to put a crimson button on either side for marker lights. Then we'll do that same thing down on the other end here, so come down to this end of the car. It's the same thing. We put an iron trap door on bottom in front of the door, surround the door with polished black stone walls, then a crimson button on either side up here for marker lights. Then we're going to take a warp trap door, one on each end, like that. Same thing down here, one in from the end, one on each side. Now we're going to take out iron bars here, one on each side of this door, and bring it down 
to the bottom of this staircase on each side. Then we'll do the same thing for the side door over here. So come on over to this side. Iron bars on each side of the door. And bring it down on each side to the bottom of the staircase. And there we have it folks. We've completed our Amtrak Piedmont coach car with accurate interior. I hope you like it. And if you're building this whole train, you're going to want to build or copy in probably two, three, or even four of these cars for your train. And leave space behind that because we still have to do the snack and lounge car and another locomotive for the rear end of the train. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there.